What's up guys, it is Zeke here. Today we're going to be talking about the essentials of base designing. As you guys can see, I am still castle level 7. With that, I will have 7 archer towers, 3 cannons, 2 freeze towers, 2 lightning towers, and a drum gun. You also have 2 traps, you have 2 freeze traps, and 2 bomb traps. <clears throat> Excuse me, okay. The basics of base designing are is that you need to have your splash damages centralized. I'm going to go ahead and switch this out with my free freeze tower I have. That does not count. I that was with uh, the all for one thing that our guild unlocked. Anyway, for me, I use this triangular pattern with my. Uh, with my three cannons because it covers all of my base all the important parts of my base at least and uh, pretty much whatever angle they attack me at there's usually two cannons that are firing at them so that's um, through lots and lots and lots of defenses I've just noticed that this pattern seems to work better um, let's see uh, another another key thing that I've noticed through just playing is that um, my freeze towers right here do a lot better than when I first initially had them um, on like opposite sides. Um, I think that the reason they're doing a lot better here is because I tend to get attacked from this side up here or this side over here. And once they get inside my base, they go in through here, and then they usually um, go through this wall piece. Um, they start working on this. Uh, it allows my cannons to still be firing at them. Um, but eventually, once they destroy the, the drum gun, they move down here to my cannons. Uh, once they get to the cannons, you can see that they are in range of my freeze towers. And once the freeze towers start hitting them... Um, I think that they start getting in range of this cannon down here. So it's it's a great um, combination of defenses. Uh, they are frozen, and my cannon is attacking them down here the whole time. Now, if this one's still alive, it'll be attacking them as well. But um, eventually, once they get in to this layer of wall, they typically go for the drum gun first, and then they start moving for a, t for a cannon. Um, if they have commanders, then they will be commanded to go through the, this T section right here and attack this. Once they get to this tower, they're starting to become in range of my lightning tower. That lightning tower does extra damage against magical troops like commanders and Oni trolls. Um, these are very 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 good and I keep them down here kinda close by my freeze towers because um, let me think of the reason why why'd I put these down there honestly you know I can't remember why I put them down here but I think I was just trying something out and since I put them both down here most of my attacks have been coming from up here um, typically people who roll with a lot of Oni trolls will steer clear of the lightning towers or at least they should um, especially when your lightning towers are somewhat upgraded mine are level 3 and they do they do pretty good damage against Oni trolls I think it only takes maybe four or five strikes from these things to bring them down um, let's see why do I have my base design like this well I have three layers of walls to get to my castle up here so I consider that pretty heftily defended now if you scroll down here you can see I only have two layers of walls. Um, there's a reason why I did this. I could not have three layers of walls on all sides of my base. That's okay. Because I have all of these buildings that I was able to place here and um, by placing these close to my walls but um, by placing them close to my walls it pushes back attackers. Um, back beyond this region over here so they have to drop their troops pretty far away and once they get up to the practice yards my archer towers start hitting them. Um, I did arrange my archer towers 
And very specifically, I think I've alluded to this a little bit before, but everything in my base is kind of based on a triangular design. Um, there's triangles. This, this is a triangle, this is a triangle, and this is a triangle. Um, down here, once they start attacking these buildings, because they always go for these free buildings down here, uh, they become in range of my archer towers, which start doing work. Um, if you haven't upgraded to the fire arrows, I'd suggest you do it. Um, it's pretty effective against uh, archers and samurai. Um, I don't really get attacked a whole lot with samurai. I mainly get attacked with archers. And the fire arrows do a lot of damage against them. Let's see. Okay, so I've talked about my freeze towers, my lightning towers, and then you have the seven archer towers, which I just kind of evenly spread around my base. Um, if Just by looking at my bases, it looks... I would I think that it's pretty evenly spread defense defense-wise above my castle and defense-wise below my castle. Um, I do have my drum gun up here, up top. Um, you can change that out with your alliance portal down here, if you would like. Um, the reason I decided not to is because of the range of the drum gun. It has a very, very far range. And it's usually one of the first defenses that starts attacking any troops that are deployed uh, up here to the northeast or over here to the northwest. Uh, my jade lines, I think I placed them down here. Yes, I did. So my jade lines, I think, are both right down here. No, wait. I have one jade line down here and one right there. Okay. So I didn't place them both down there. Hmm. So what I was finding out uh, was that people would lay down a whole wall of archers and generally take out these buildings. And then once these buildings were cleared out, they would deploy a ram to get through this wall piece here, one of these wall pieces. So that's why I placed my freeze trap and bomb trap right there. You don't have to place your freeze trap and bomb traps directly next to each other. It's completely up to you. But... The dynamite typically takes about 50% of the life of archers, and when you're primarily getting a lot of archers, a lot of archer attacks from down here to take out these buildings, they'll eventually move up. And once they get close enough to this, they're frozen in place, and then the bomb goes off, and then they usually get hit by a lightning strike if that tower is still alive. Uh, let's see. I did also place my assassin's dens down here. Um, I like I like them down here. They do pretty good, and they're almost always activated. Uh, let's see what can I what else can I tell you? Um, one important thing you should always do is uh, not lay all of your markets and essence gatherers directly next to each other. So don't put you know, like five essence gatherers in a line right next to each other. I don't think that's smart because if someone wants to, they can drop a whole row of archers and easily get a ton of essence from you or or jade coin if it's a market. Um, so I suggest placing uh, like, an, like a gatherer and then a building that does not like gather stuff or hold any storage like a like a barracks and then gatherer a building that doesn't really matter gatherer building that doesn't matter gatherer uh, let's see what else uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it um, in this game the rams can only attack in a straight line so um, there's only two places on my base design that I have two layers of walls. Um, it would be anywhere if they drop a ram up here to the northeast of this gather. Oops, sorry. X. There we go. To the northeast of this gather, they got to get through this wall here and this wall here. Um, it's pretty atypical that they're able to drop a no maybe. 
I mean, enough Rams, I guess. Maybe if they drop like six or seven Rams, they could get to this inner wall here. But it's pretty atypical that they are able to do that. Um, just because of the number of defenses that they're in range once they drop that down. But there's two layers of wall there. And then, of course, two layers of wall down here at the bottom. Yeah. Um, so... Overall, there's, it's mostly three layers of walls with a couple two layers of walls. You can switch out this with that up there. Give that a try and see. Um, I feel that it kind of takes away a little bit from your defenses up here because sometimes you'll get attacked multiple times before you log back on, and it only takes one attack to deplete uh, whatever troops you have inside this alliance portal. Um, whereas this thing here will fire regardless every time you get attacked. That's what I've seen. Um, some areas of weakness of this base. Uh, I mean, I think pretty much every base is susceptible to the snowball spell. The snowball spell is really good. And when you have multiple defenses in a line, the snowball spell takes them out really well. I don't think that I have a whole lot of defenses in a really long line. I think my the most defenses I have in a somewhat line are this tower, freeze tower, cannon, and the drum gun. And it goes down this way as well. But other than that, it's pretty much only three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You know, one, two, three. But, uh, I mean, if you come across somebody with this base design, I think that probably one of the best things to do would drop a spell where you can take out the snowball spell, take out this one, this one, this one, and this one. That'll probably benefit you the most. And then attack from the, uh, the right side of the base. Uh, well, that's it, guys. I kind of wanted to go over this. A couple of my guildmates here were talking about um, how to build a base and what you need to do when placing your defenses. Um, as opposed to Clash of Clans, I don't think that it is as important in this game where you place your bases, but, or place your defenses, but I think that something you should always, 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 always have are your splash damages, aka your cannons, centralized in an area that covers a very large portion of your base. Um, you also want to have them well protected. But, other than that, guys, um, you can be creative and do whatever you want. Um, my base is kind of a longer shape base. Now, I've seen a lot of new bases that are kind of a, a square, rectangular shape. And those look pretty cool, too. I don't know how well they are or how well they do in battle, but they look pretty awesome. I have one hour left on this. That's awesome. One hour until I have... All level 3 freeze cannons. Um, <clears throat> I am in the process of currently upgrading my walls. I have this entire inner layer, inner layer here, uh, wall level 6. And I almost have this entire second layer, uh, level 6 as well. But other than that, guys, that's it. That's pretty much everything you should consider when building a base. Um, fire arrows are good. Ice shot is really good. The reason why it's really good is because every chance you have to freeze the targets is it slows down their damage per second. So, so it, the more they're frozen, the overall DPS that they're able to do is less, which means your defenses are up longer. Your defenses are firing at them longer and killing them. But, uh, oh well, that's it guys. As always, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please hit like down below. Please comment, tell me what you think. Um, open to discussion, guys. Open to suggestions. As always, guys, God bless.